Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I don't know if this is, like, whatever. Hopefully that works. Um, as promised, I'm right back for my video about Stateboard. Um, I'm just gonna, like, quickly check over my notes and see if there's anything I wanted to specifically say. Um, okay, so one of the things I wanted to, like, address was how long it took me to get my results to take my Stateboard test. So... I don't remember exact dates and I might be able to like check my email and look back, but I graduated on the 21st of August and then about a month later, I want to say, like, I don't know, probably about a month later, I got my dates and um, your practical test. And this is the state of Arizona. I don't know how it works in other states, obviously, but um, for the state of Arizona, your practical test, they tell you like when they give you the day they don't tell you the time right away so i knew that i was going to be testing on october now i have to this is terrible that i can't remember this i want to say it was the 17th but it might have been the 18th i want to say it was the 17th i think october 17th but let me just check so i'm not giving you lies october It was the 13th and the 14th. Um, so sorry about that. The reason why I'm saying the 17th is 17th I became officially licensed. So jumping back, you get a date and so mine said like, hey, your test will be, your practical test will be October 13th. And then um, there's another email that's like, log on to your web, to whatever the website is. and um, select what theory day you want. Sorry, I'm like all over the place, but I have it right here. So, um, the 13th, I took my practical test. The 14th, I set up to take my theory test. So, practical. Um, I don't know, again, how other states go. I know they're pretty similar to this. So, basically, you get there, and they tell you to arrive 30 minutes early, and they are not kidding, because I got there, like, I don't know, it was like 32 minutes early and I walk in and then they're like standing there waiting and they check their watch. It hits the like 30 minutes before the test starts mark and they're like, okay, come line up. We're going to start checking you in. Like, bam, bam, bam. And side note, if you don't arrive 30 minutes early, like you can't show up five minutes before the test because they'll tell you you can't take it. Sometimes they start to test early, apparently. I didn't know that. Um, but I had a friend who couldn't take it. And sometimes because it'll take too long to check you in, they won't let you test either. So, I'm um, sorry. So, anyway, um, I got there on time. No worries there. And then, like, make sure you have two forms of ID. The ones I took was or were my social security card, which is, like, your primary form of ID. It's because it has a signature with your name printed. Um, and then, obviously, your social security number, like, no one else has that. And then the second one was I used my debit card because it has my name printed on one side and signed on the other. So, um, lined up. It was it's so nerve wracking. I dressed all in black just in case, but there are people wearing jeans. There are people wearing jeans with holes in them. I don't know what like official state board um, uniform is, but I wore black on black, and you have to wear a smock. You can't wear an apron. You have to have a smock. So I wore my smock. I wore black on black. My hair was like up out of my face. I was not going to like go home because of how my I looked. So anyway, they let me in. They assigned me to a table. They come set yourself up over here. They put you have a little piece of paper that you bring with you and your passport photo has to be connected because if and when you pass the test, they will take that, use that picture and how it's set up. Um, they will put in your license number, whatever your license number becomes, and then that's what they use for your state board license. So, cosmetology license. So, anyway, um, they like come on over here, brought me to a table. You can set up there. Like, you can set up your mannequin head right now um, with the stand and everything. And it was a hotel, so that we were like in a carpeted room, and they had this wood 
set up on the carpet and they're like, okay, stand on the wood, but your kit cannot be touching the wood. So I, that was like pretty, it was nice to be able to not have to be able to set up the head because in the 900 and 1400 hour tests at Avalon, which I don't think I ever talked about in my last video, but basically we just do a mock state board, um, which I passed both of. You have to pass in order to graduate. So anyway, um, part of your setup time is getting the mannequin on the table. And that's a lot harder than like you'd think. So you have to put a towel down, you put the mannequin stand, and then you can put the mannequin on. And then we step, step back and waited for another like 20 minutes. So everyone got in. And the first thing you have to do part of your setup, you have to like spray down these tables with your barbicide and pipe it and everything, show that you're a clean person. Um, but these tables, I don't know what they're made out of. You know that, I don't know how to explain it, but there are these tables and they're like wood tables, but it's almost like a cardboard. Like the wood is so thin. Maybe it's almost like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was like a papery wood. So you would spray it and go to wipe it and it wouldn't like move around you gotta spray the entire thing and like get it soaking wet and then try to dry it off because you have to like now put all your stuff out so put bag number one out um the first section is curling i almost said it was a haircut but it's curling anyway so you put all your curling supplies out um and you have like 10 minutes to do this you um they let you take the cord and put it over the table and then there's a different test I can't think of the word. I want to call them judges, but you know what I'm saying? They're like, they grade you. I don't know how to call them, but um, they stand at each table and there's like six tables and then they rotate. So your first test person um, plugs in your thermal curling iron and you can have that on. And then um, that's the time that you take to go ahead and drape your mannequin and um, all that stuff. So did all that. Did it in time. I was fine. Then the thermal curling section, you have three on top and four on the sides. And for some reason, I can never like do this well on the test. I practice at home. It was one of the only things I actually practiced at home because I didn't want to practice the haircut. I just cut it to like one length all over at home. But anyway, um, so for the first time ever, I've never done this, I used curl clips and so I curled the, the first piece and put a clip and then the second and third. And then I got like two on the side, but she never even checked the side. So I don't know. I obviously passed like I'm a licensed cosmetologist right now, but it was weird because she never checked them. Um, but they tell you when the time is up to remove all the clips, including the sectioning clips, anything you have in the hair, take it out. So I did all that. They go through and they check each individual person's curls. And then they like write stuff down and it's so nerve wracking because you're like, I'm going to see what that was. No. And you can't smile at them because like, they think you're weird. I can't help but smile. I'm a really nice person. But I did get the person who was checking us in. She was probably like the gruffest of everybody. I did get her to smile at me. And I was like, good morning and all this stuff. Oh, I sorry. I think I forgot this part. So like a little bit before your test, you get an email with the paper that you have to bring out and put your picture onto, and it tells you what time you're supposed to test. So I want to say that the test was something ridiculous, like nine o'clock in the morning, or I can't be sure though. Um, I woke up super early that day. My dad drove me because I didn't want to drive out to Phoenix by myself for the first time. And like, what if I got lost? No. So he drove me and um, yeah. I think that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, so curling section went good. Then you, um, they give you another like 10 minutes for setup for the haircut, which comes next. Um, the haircut for me is my weakest part. It wasn't the worst thing ever. Like I got three quarters of it done. Um, didn't cut myself. I just, but they like, they come and stand next to you and then take these notes and you're like, are these good notes or bad notes? I don't know because they're checking for certain things and then they go through at the end of that i think you get 30 minutes you get 10 minutes for the haircut uh, for the curls 30 minutes for a haircut and so um and they let you know when you're halfway done so or when, when the time's halfway you know what i'm saying when but 
time is at the halfway point so you get to you know when it says 15 minutes i'm sorry i cannot talk it is so late Whew, focusing anyway so um i don't think you get 10 minutes in between i think you get two minutes to set up your step anyway i'm sorry so um set up our stuff did the haircut almost finished she checked it it wasn't too bad basically they check for balance on either side so what avalon taught us to do is when you like cut the back um your first like it's a 90 degree razor hair razor on the bottom to scissors on top so you take the bottom and you cut it with the razor and then whatever length that is because i think you have to cut at least one inch off um i think something like that and then uh you take the sides and make sure the sides are even because they will check the sides and then you go ahead and do the graduation with the razor and then the scissors the layers so um Anyway, I did that and I was mostly done. I really just concentrated on the back because that's super important that you have that as even as possible because the next section is your chemical waving. And you wrap it from crown to nape. Um, I thought something was crawling on me, heart attack. So anyway, um, so anyway, you get two minutes, whatever, to put all your stuff away and take all your new stuff out you set up and everything and then the curling was or the thermal not the thermal the chemical waving was it's super easy for me um i'm really confident in it and i don't know if you guys have to do chemical waving but this is what mr mccoy taught me that was like a lifesaver so we use purple rods um and i know you can use like purple or white i think something like that but so our school like requires purple rods so you t-part the hair in four and then you take your rod and you line it up in the crown and then you make a mark where you can't if you know perming like you can't go past a certain point so you make your mark and then you pin that side and then you take it back and you do the same thing on the other side and then you have your section nice and neat and just remember that because it's a mannequin head at the nape it starts to go in so make sure to kind of kick it out so that it looks like you're kind of doing this like action at the end but um it ends up being pretty straight so i did that i had time to do that put the um protective cream along the bottom wrap it with cotton and then you demonstrate um saturation so that's when you take your perm your mock perm and you saturate all the pieces and so like at Avalon they stop you after like two or three you do a couple and they're like okay we understand that like you know what you're doing at state board you have to go from the top and make sure you get in between every single little perm rod I'm like I can tell them when to stop so then I put it down and then they say to demonstrate a test girl so you don't use the very top um perm rod so I did like two or three down took it off um you unroll it two and a half times and then you kind of push back to because then in a real perm that's where you get your s pattern then you roll well i don't know if you're supposed to i think this is what avalon told us roll it back up and you step back and then they'll check them and then they let you take out they let you take out all the perm rods so that everyone's on the same page because um for the uh, for the next section because it would be rude if like Half of us got to take our perm rods out, but the people who got checked last were like, okay, we're moving on. So you have time to take all your perm rods out, put them in their proper, you have like a trash bag and a soiled implements bag. So anyway, um, also you have, you have time to sweep up your hair after the haircut and that kind of thing. So they're, they're pretty good and pretty fair. We all start in the same place at the same time as much as we can. Um, then for the fourth and final unit it's technically like you pack five bags for that so your fourth bag is hair coloring and lightening and you t-part the hair first and then you do your protective cream and your um what's that word patch test and so it goes i don't want to give you the wrong order but it's like the lightener retouch or light virgin liner and color retouch is that bag and I can't remember the exact one at this moment, but they tell you like which one you're gonna do first. So you do it and you do it. Um and you have ten minutes for each of those and then you 
they switch again they're switching people this whole time every new like bag every new thing you have to do you get a new test checker i don't know how to call them anyway um so you got your last one and then you do the virgin relaxer and the relaxer retouch and they have you demonstrate smoothing um and then at the end they're pretty much just like okay you cannot leave anything here you need to make sure everything's packed up and put away so um i packed a, a plastic like walmart baggie at the bottom and i put it over her head and i took the stand off i could not get that doll off the stand to save my life i just got the stand off the table finally and just took that whole thing with me um walked out they don't say anything to you they're like okay we'll let you know within like 14 business days so that was like really scary but i made it through i was i was like whatever happens happens it, it would suck to have to retake the test but i i felt pretty confident about it like i'm confident in my education from avalon so i was okay with that um, and then the very next day was when I had signed up to take my theory test. So you have to be there at like eight o'clock in the morning, I think. They're less like strict about time because I got there like kind of early, but not really. Two of the nicest ladies I ever, ever in the whole wide world have met. So um, there's a couple of different places that you can test. It's just a testing center. Like, they do construction testing at the same place. Um, you don't have to wear a smock or anything. You wear whatever you want. So I walked in, or I got, I drove there, walked into the building, and I was like, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go because it's, like, a building with a bunch of different offices in it. So luckily I found the directory and then um, found the building or, like, the room I had to be in. Um, it was right next to the elevator, so I wrote the elevator up and then went down the hall. I kind of stood outside, like, looking in, seeing if I, I didn't know if I was supposed to be there or not. And they're like, come on in, come on in, and smiling. So I did. And they're like, just have a seat right now. Like, I'm with someone right now, but we'll have you signed in, no problem. So, again, you take your IDs, and they hold on to one of them, I think. They held on to my drive. Oops. Maybe it was my driver's license and my debit card, not my social security card. I want to say it's my... I think they took my driver's license as my um, primary ID. Because I brought my driver's license the second day. Anyway, so they hold on to your driver's license. You can keep your debit card. They give you a locker to put your cell phone and everything in. So I did all that. Um, they're like, okay, so this, like, you're going to go in the room and um, it's all done on a computer. They'll give you a little tutorial how to do, how to test. You do a couple practice questions. Don't worry, they don't count against you at all. They have nothing to do with hair. They're like U.S. history questions. Um, and then they're like, okay, and when you pass, it'll say you pass, or you come out here when the test is done, and then we'll print something that says you passed. So um, off I went into the room, took the test. It was, we, you have like 90 minutes or something to take this test. And I finished everything. I finished the entire test. And well, and then like you have an option to skip over some of them, and you can go back to them. So took the entire test went back and answered all the ones I skipped. And then I had so much time left over that I was like, maybe I should reread every question. So I went through, excuse me, and I reread every single question, barely changed any answers, which I know you're not supposed to change answers, but sometimes I do. Change like maybe three total. Um, I wish I remembered how many questions there were. But either, whatever. Um, and I still had 55 minutes remaining. And they were like, and so then, there's a thing that pops up and it's like, are you really done taking this test? So you have to type the words in yes. And then you take an exit, like survey. How was the test? Do you think this was too easy, too hard kind of thing? I really thought it was the easiest thing I've ever taken. And then I walked out and she's like, I'll be with you in a second. And then my thing printed and she's like, congratulations, you passed. I said, thank you. She goes, when did you take your theory or your practical test? I said, yesterday. She goes, okay, so you should find out that, you know, for up to 14 business days. So off I went. I was super excited. I passed, um, called my mom and everything. And then that Friday, which was the 17th, which is why I got confused. Um, it was also my last day at Michael's, which is where I ended up working. But, um, I got the results. I got an email that's like, here's your results for the theory test. And it said pass, obviously. And then the practical test pass. You don't find out what you get letter grade wise, um, or like 
how many missed or you know what I mean? I don't know if they do that in every state, but the state of Arizona, it's pass fail. So I did pass, luckily. I mean, I know you have to get 70% or better on the on both of them, I want to say. Maybe it's 75 or better. Either way, I passed both of them. I'm licensed. My I'll get you the date that my license came to me. Um where are you, little thing? Little thing. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. The 28th, I got my license in the mail. And um, your license comes on a full, full sheet of paper. The bottom has like the pink license that I don't know if you see in hair salons or nail salons. The little pink one has your information, your picture. And then you have this little tiny card that's for... Um, I can't remember what it says, something for like, for buying supplies. So that's the card that you take with you to get to Cosmoprof so that you can get your Cosmoprof card or your Sally's card or whatever it is. And then you have to sign it and everything. It has your number on it. And yeah, so I am licensed. Um, just in case you're wondering, I'm not going to get a job until January because my nephew was born. So I'm his nanny. Um, I told my sister I'd watch him through the end of the year. She's going to pay me. And then it's just going to be like job, look, job searching pretty much for the rest of the time. I've worked on my resume. I've talked to some people. I, um, I'm giving haircuts out of my house kind of thing. Like I give my brothers in law haircuts all the time. I give my nephew, um, a hair, not my baby nephew, obviously, but I gave one of my nephews a haircut. So that's really cool. And I'm just working kind of from my house. I'm going to do my mom's hair soon. Um, I should probably do my own hair. Or, like, have someone do my hair. But anyway, that's pretty much safeboard for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for, again, bearing with me for the long time. If you have any safeboard questions, let me know. Um, I obviously can't answer that many about other states. But I've been looking at, like, reciprocity. Um, I think that's how you say it. To transfer your license to another state. So, I've been looking just in case I end up moving somewhere or whatever. So, that's pretty much it. I thank you so much for watching. And again, coming with me on this journey. It's been one long year, but an amazing one at that. So I really appreciate you. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.